What up, y'all? I'm standing outside at Central Grocery, home to the original and the world famous Mufalata. I'm gonna run inside and grab something to eat because I'm starving. But later on, we're gonna go visit some Italian cultural sites that mean a lot to the city of New Orleans. And then after that, I'm gonna head over to Avondale to meet up with Lisa Mosca over at Mosca's and get some down home Italian grub. Y'all know what this is. This is good gumbo. So we're here at Central Grocery. This is home of the original Mufalata. I'm here with Frank, the owner. Now, Frank, your family has owned this for over 50 years, correct? Yeah, right. And this sandwich, in New Orleans, we say Mufalata, but it's actually Mufaletta. Correct. And this sandwich has sustained a lot of people. I mean, growing up, I used to eat this. My mom would come home with a big old one of these wrappers, uh -huh. and she would cut it into little pieces, and she would feed all this. And I had no clue, no clue as a kid, that this sandwich was so big. This is a big sandwich. Oh yeah, it, it feeds two people, sometimes yeah. three or four. Can you tell me a little history about the Mufaletta? Actually, the name Mufaletta is the style of bread, which originated in Sicily. The baker would come around in the neighborhood and sell his bread. That's how the, the name Mufaletta originated. Let's put one together. I want to see how it's done from the original. You know, we start off with all imported cold cuts. This is the Genoa salami. We put a layer and then we follow with the ported ham. In Italy, they call this prosciutto. But then we got Emmental. It's 130 days, they age this. Then we have a, a mild provolone. We add the provolone so it's not as much salt as the other cold cuts. Then this is the mortadella. And those are pistachios, right? Right. Then we finish with the Genoa. Even more salami? Right. Holy moly. Hearty, the hearty sandwich. Yeah. So this is an Italian olive salad, right? Right. There's no mayo, there's no mustard, no, there's none of that. No, it's a cold sandwich by design. We cut and make four parts. Oh, I've been waiting for this all day, I can tell you. Oh. Hmm. I'm happy guys. <laughs> it's a big sandwich. This sandwich right here is part of my history, it's part of my culture, because I grew up eating it. But more importantly, it's part of the history and culture of New Orleans. And that's what's important. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Justin, we're here at the Piazza d'Italia, yeah? That's how you pronounce it? Piazza d'Italia. Yeah, so you gotta have that yeah, little yeah, accent yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's sitting right behind the American Italian Cultural Center. Yeah. So that means that they built all of this for the Italian community. It's actually a New Jersey guy. He got really interested in fostering pride in Italian heritage and it manifested itself in this fabulous museum and this piazza. I know that you can probably go anywhere in this city and find great Italian food. Why is the Italian community so big here in New Orleans? Well, Italians first started coming here in the 1830s because Sicily was the world's leading producer of citrus, lemons. Lemons were very important in the 19th century in cooking. You didn't have soda, you didn't have all this other stuff. They were used in canning for citric acid. And so when we're talking Italian New Orleans, what we're really talking about are, are Sicilians. And they come first because of the citrus trade. And then they diversify, they get steamships and start bringing in bananas, and they use those same steamships to bring in the poor, bigger wave of Sicilians starting in the mid-1880s. Where would you go eat for the best Italian food in the city? Oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> I mean, we, we love Moscas, right? It's almost like a sacrament to go to Moscas. Yeah, you know, it you is. You go and you reconnect. It's one of the few places that still just takes cash. I'm actually you going know? there uh, later on this evening. Oh man, when Oysters Mosca comes out to you and it's just right, this has real hard to That's eat. what I want, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. We're here in one of my favorite dining rooms in the whole country. This restaurant has been around for 73 years? Since 1946. Cooking really comes from within. Yes. And that's why you can taste it in the food here. Mm -hmm. This love of family, this love mm -hmm. of, of what you guys do, it carries through over and over and over. Mm -hmm. I understand that your mom is always in the kitchen yes, here. Yes, she's always in the kitchen. If she's not here, we usually close. She doesn't <laughs> trust anyone else in the kitchen. So she's there every night. Tell me about the oyster mosca. It's a baked oyster dish. It's kind of a secret family sure. recipe, but they have special seasoning. It's in a stainless steel pie pan, and they top it with Italian breadcrumbs, and it's baked in the oven. Every time I come here, I have that dish, but I also have the spaghetti borderways, but also the chicken. Why is that chicken so good? The pans are really old, so we, <laughs> we always say it's the pans. So how many people you got coming in tonight? About 130, oh which my is a gosh. lot for us. We're That's... a pretty small restaurant. And then all of y'all are gonna do this together? 
<laughs> that's a true. That's a true mom and pop operation. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when we get done eating this, I might just help you out. Stay around and just. I would appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not waste any time. We got to dig Super. in. But my grandfather is the one who came up with the dish. Your grandfather is the reason why. Yes. Man, that's a good man right there. Obviously, it's a secret recipe. I'm not going to pull it out of you. I know your mom would probably kill me, huh? Yeah, or me. <laughs> or you. <laughs> or you. Lisa, this has been an amazing experience. The oyster mosca, the chicken a la grande, everything has always lived up to its reputation. I really appreciate it. It's been an honor. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. We appreciate you. Awesome. I'll be back, for sure. <laughs>